Hi everyone, welcome to Dunda's dashboard how to videos. This video is on mashups. This video will demonstrate how to successfully create a mashup. A mashup is a personalized dashboard view that displays multiple dash blocks simultaneously, giving users the flexibility to mix and match dash blocks to get the desired view to help make accurate conclusions. Now, let's get started and create our very own mashup. Before creating a mashup, ensure we have a few dash blocks already created. In our case, we have three dash blocks, calculation, forecast, and sale. We also have one dashboard called our dashboard. To create a mashup, hover over mashups. Click on the ellipse button and click New Mashup. Give it an appropriate name. Let's call ours Our Mashup. On the bottom, there will be a navigation ribbon. This is where we can locate our dash blocks for viewing. Dash blocks can be identified by a specific icon, which looks like this. Note other objects such as dashboards and bookmarks will be present as well. Dashboards have an icon like this, while bookmarks will appear like this. We can use the folder location to filter and search for specific objects. Objects will be sorted by projects. Within the project, there will be analytical dashboards folder dashboards folder and mashups folder. The bookmark folder is on its own. Remember the user that is logged in needs to have the appropriate permissions for all projects. In our case we're doing how to video so let's filter by that. Note how we don't have as many icons on the bottom now. We can also search dash blocks by their name for example sale. We can collapse the ribbon if needed to. To view the dash blocks, simply double click on the desired one. We can also click and drag. If we would like to remove one, click on the X. If we would like to expand one, click on the square. When we would like to put it back to its original size, simply click on the underscore. We can also rearrange the dash blocks by clicking and dragging. Note we can show dashboards here. However, a warning message will pop up asking if we would like to replace our current mashup. The reason for this warning is because dashboards cannot be displayed with any other object. So it's either all dashboard or no dashboard. Once we have a mashup view to our liking, we can save this mashup. So next time it loads, we will see it. To do this, click on the Save button. We can either overwrite a mashup or create a brand new one. In our case, let's just overwrite it. And as you can see, whenever we select our mashup, it will go to the one we have just saved. For more information on what we discussed in this video can be found on our support site support.dundas.com. Some key articles are shown on the screen now. Please feel free to visit them and read up on the information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, 
please visit our support site at support.dundas.com or contact us by email or by phone which are shown on the screen. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.